Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. I'm in Topaz Adjust AI today, playing with a photo, uh, and I'm actually playing with presets. And so I thought I would jump in um, and uh, do a little uh, an edit here, if you will. One of the things I like about Topaz is that they uh, they iterate pretty quickly. Um, I've had this product for how many weeks it's been since it first came out. I'll put my uh, first look video up here for Topaz Adjust AI when it launched. Um, but um, I've been using the product some, but I've also been busy doing other things, um, as you may see from the other videos I have here. And what I was getting to here is one of the things I like about Topaz is they iterate and make updates fairly rapidly and quickly and frequently. And I like that because it means they're always doing things to the product. So I went in today and they happened to have um, made another update to Topaz Adjust AI. Now, I gotta be clear, I'm not sure when it came out because it's been a few days since I opened it last. Um, but there's new presets and things like that. So I thought I would jump in and talk about that and show it off. So let's hop into the product here. Um, this is the main screen, and this isn't like a tutorial or a walkthrough necessarily, but you've got all your presets over here, but you know, they've they've changed the UI slightly. They've got these different categories, featured, HDR looks, uh, stylized, and as you click on it, now it takes a minute um, to go through and bring all these up, but I really like that they've added more presets. And I want to pause for a second because um, I, you know, I personally like presets, and I think they're very useful. But I've definitely uh, heard other photographers, you know, kind of look down on presets as like, you're applying somebody else's look to your photo, or, you know, you're never going to learn the product if you use presets. And I actually disagree with that thinking. I think, number one, especially if you're new to a product, a preset is a great way to learn a product because you can click on it and say, okay, I like this Ansel HDR look. Let me click on it. Hey, I like what it did to my photo. But here's how you learn the product. Then you go into controls and you start looking at what this preset includes. What did it do to my photo? And it helps you start to understand and sort of internalize what these different sliders will do. So you might come in here and say, oh, I see, okay. Well, they took down the exposure a little bit. You know, you can always do this original. There's the before and here's the current. And, you know, they dropped highlights, they bumped up shadows. Obviously saturation went to zero. Okay, that makes sense. You make a black and white by taking saturation to zero. Um, you know, they took down a little clarity, they messed around with the details, blah, 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 right? So to me, I think it's a great thing because it helps you kind of learn how to use the product. Um, and I don't necessarily think that it's, you know, hey, you're applying somebody else's look to your photo. Um, while you are, I guess, technically, if you're using um, a, uh, a preset as the, the finished product, I don't use them that way. I think of presets as a great starting point. So I come in here and I like this newer preset called Bright and Detailed. Now, there's two called Bright and Detailed. The first one is Bright and then the and symbol known as ampersand. Um, bright and Detailed is that look, which I don't really like to, to, to be honest. It's too crispy and crunchy. It looks like an overdone HDR. Um, but this bright and detailed where and is spelled out, I, I think that looks beautiful. I mean, the colors are nice. It's crispy in the right areas, like in the buildings and that dome. This is Berlin, by the way. Um, so I would come in here and say, okay, I like that look. And sure, it's somebody else's look, but who cares? It's not like you're going to share the photo and someone's going to look at it and say, well, it's a nice photo, but it's got Bob's look on it. And that's not Bob that did it. Who cares? Like, um, I don't think that matters. This is my personal opinion. And of course, you're talking to a guy who makes presets. Um, but you know, the other thing too is I think that um, other people that look down on presets think you're gonna use them as a crutch forever and never learn the product. And I don't think that's the case either. I think it's a great way to get started, as I said. So I click on that look and maybe I come in here and say, okay, I like that, but maybe I wanna take the shadows up a tiny bit more. Maybe I like it a little bit cooler. Maybe I wanna add a little clarity in the low and the medium area and maybe reduce it further in the in the high. Maybe I wanna bump up those small details a tiny bit more. Maybe even giving them a, a boost so I'm really getting crunchy around that dome. And by the way, let me zoom in and show you. Excuse me, um, here we go. Let me show you the original and the current state. Here's one of the great things about Topaz Adjust AI. Because it's AI based, it knows that I want those details to be applied there and not really in the sky because what I don't want is a detailed noisy sky. But I definitely like the crispiness there on that, uh, on that dome. So, I mean, it just looks gorgeous. Here's the original and the current state. I just, I, I think it looks great. So, um, anyway, I encourage you if you use presets to not use it as a crutch. 
if you're getting started new to a product totally makes sense um, but I use presets all the time in Luminar, and I mean, I've got a couple of hundred videos about Luminar. Arguably, I know the product fairly well, um, but I use presets all the time. I use my presets. I also use sometimes the presets that are built in, and they've given away some free preset packs uh, in the Luminar marketplace over the last couple of years, and I've picked up a couple of those, and sometimes I use those. Doesn't mean Jim doesn't know the product, and Jim isn't using it as a crutch. It's a starting point. Maybe I get a photo like this, and I'm like, what do I want to do? I'm not really sure. So I bring it in here to Topaz Adjust AI. I pick a preset and I'm thinking, okay, that's a good, I, I like that look. I want to go refine it. So I encourage you to use presets in that way. Um, early on, if you're not familiar with the product or how it works, of course you're going to use them as a crutch. It's a great way to get started. I would just encourage you to go beyond that. Take a few steps, go into some of these filters, and I covered them more in that first video. I'm not really about that. This is more about the presets, but there's so much you can do. Uh, and there's multiple categories, right? So you've got stylized. Uh, I'll just clip, click on that real quick. You can see there's some interesting looks. They may or may not be what you want, but you know, even this one, you might look at hypercolor and say, wow, I like it, but it's a little too blue. Okay, we'll go into the uh, temperature slider and warm it up, make it less blue. So uh, Landscape Pro, I think, looks pretty cool, but kind of too dark for me. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go... Um, Maybe I'll lift the brightness a little bit. The shadows are so low. Maybe I'm going to bring up the shadows. And there you go. I like that look. Um, I started with that preset, made a few adjustments. So that's really it. I just wanted to talk about the presets. And of course, um, they're very simple to use because generally speaking, they're one click like this bright and detailed. But I encourage you to dive in by clicking on the controls button. Go over here and make some adjustments. Learn how to use the product. Dive in. And the truth is, you might end up with something that you really like. There's kind of a before and an after uh, on a dual screen, and here it is a split, right? So you can see the before and after. It's a massive difference, and that's me just kind of messing around with a preset with a few minor adjustments. But dive in, have fun, and explore your creativity because there's so much you can do with a product like this. And the fact that it's AI-based, as you saw, the details are getting applied where you want the details and not where you don't want them. I don't want a crispy sky. I definitely want to crunch up some of the detail in that uh, in the Berliner Dom, I believe it's called, that dome there, and the main cathedral in Berlin, which is gorgeous. So anyway, that was a hopefully quick video about Topaz Adjust AI. You can get it at the link down below, which is an affiliate link. Um, it'll take you to topaz.com. And I was going to tell you, they also have not just a Just AI, but they have an AI bundle that includes all these other products. It is $300. However, there's a coupon code GYMNIX you can use to save 15%. Again, if you click my link or use my coupon code, that's an affiliate link. And anything you buy, I make a small commission. That supports me, and I keep coming back with free training videos. So it's a little bit of a uh, benefit for you in both ways, right? You're getting free training videos. You're also saving 15%, and uh, it helps me a lot. So I appreciate it. That's all I got to say about that. I just wanted to talk about Topaz Adjust AI because it's been a little while since I did a video about it. So feel free to uh, leave me comments or questions down below. I hope you're enjoying the product if you have it. And if you're considering it, take a look at my Topaz videos. I've got a playlist that I'll link at the end of this video. And you can check out all my Topaz videos. And I'll be coming back with more as well because I love the products and I keep using them. And that's it, my friends. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon with another video because I've been cranking them out, just cranking them out uh, in the last couple of weeks, and I got more coming. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.